Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we'll be taking a look at Reformer Pro's transient controls and how we can use different audio inputs to make heavy impact sounds. I have a short video here of a car smashing, so I'm going to perform live along with the video while Reformer Pro processes my voice. Let's take a look. All of the other sounds you can hear are just background ambience and scene setting to make it sound more like a scrapyard. So as you can see, just with my vocal input, Reformer responded really well to the transients here that I've made with my voice. So let's have a listen to it without any of the processing. And so it's like nothing spectacular I'm putting in there, just uh, some uh, plosives and uh, kind of like throaty growling noises. Um, so let's enable the effects again and hear how it sounds with just Reformer. And so as quick as that, with just a vocal mic, you can turn uh, your voice into a car smashing to the ground with uh, this preset. But the great thing about Reformer is with one preset, it can be used in so many different ways. So not only does the vocal input produce this result, but I also have a take here of uh, drum beats. And you'll see that I can get similar and good results from it. So let's have a listen to just the original drum beat. And so as you can see, nothing about that drum beat actually makes sense with the video. But then when processed with the former, you'll hear all of the car crashing sounds just like you did with the previous vocal take. So now that you've seen that you can uh, put any input into Reformer Pro and use its transient controls, I'm going to go through the preset with you and uh, show you how I made everything. So as you can see here, I've got two versions of the Glass Smash and Metal Impact, which you can get from crotosaudio.com as individual libraries or as part of the Boom Destruction Bundle. The top two are for the bigger uh, panes of glass or large metal debris, um, uh, whereas the bottom two are for smaller uh, glass fragments and metal components. So take a look at the Glass Smash larger components first. So as you can see here, I have uh, muted a bunch of sounds in this library and only kept like the big panes of glass smashing. So with that it's allowed me to only focus on making these sound as uh, big as possible. So if I mute all these um, and we do it along with the transients here you'll be able to hear that this threshold is set at minus eight so only the largest transients are going to make it through. Um, which I'll demonstrate just now. So as you can see on the larger hits here and here, uh, the library was triggered, but on the last one it was not. Um, I've also added a little bit of variation in order to uh, make sure that it doesn't sound too repetitive. Um, but everything is set to transient here because you want to hear all of the harsh impacts and hits. And with it being all transient, I've taken just a little bit of the attack off because I don't want it to be like the, the smashing of glass sound overshadowing any of the metal impact. And I've got the decay at full so that the sound will um, naturally taper off. So let's have a look at the metal impact, the larger... Um, smashing. So in here I've got um, like container gates that are being closed or uh, scrap diggers, you know, bigger metal impact sounds, um, which I can demonstrate here. Now 
to make everything sound larger than the original scrap noises, I have reduced the playback speed so everything sounds lower and much heavier to reflect the car on screen. Um, so inside the transients here, you can see as well, just like the glass smash, that uh, the threshold is set at minus seven, so only the larger impacts are going to trigger the response. Um, the difference is the variation for the metal impacts. I wanted to keep it more static, so it's like the heavier, bigger sounds that are being triggered. So I just kept that as uh, zero, so it will always be the same sound you get. Um, but instead of it being fully transient, there's a little bit of main in there as well. So you will start to hear some of the debris and the creaking and the cracking of the metal too. Again, the attack is at zero for this one though, because it's to get the exact hit of the metal impact and the decay is at full, so it will play fully out. So let's have a quick listen to that on its own. So again, it triggers on the first two, but not on the last one, when there isn't really any kind of bigger metal hits happening. So if we come down to the bottom here, you've got the smaller glass smash library that I've made here, um, which I've muted uh, everything apart from the glass shards and some of the more, like, scrap pieces of metal, which you can hear here. But as well as this, in the original, it's uh, all at the same playback speed. It's not pitched down for this one. So everything sounds a lot lighter and brighter here. So in order to have everything triggered all the time for this, so there's more glass smashing for when the car's rocking or other inputs, the threshold is set at uh, minus 15. Um, so it will trigger on everything, basically. And um, the variation is set to high, so you can get as much variety from these libraries as possible um, and all of the sound effects in the library. Um, I've set it more to transient, so that the sound is, uh, sorry, more to main. Um, so we don't get the transient hits as much. Uh, we get more of the tinkling, grass crackling and breaking kind of noises. And the attack is actually like a little bit higher so we don't get those smashes as obviously but I've still kept the decay full um, let's have a listen to this on its own so you can hear at the end there it's subtle but it gives just a little bit more of the glass sound to make it work with the visuals and lastly is the metal impact here um, which uh, is also still pitched down because I want the weight, but all of the sounds are more like scrap electrical waste and things like that. So let's have a quick listen. It's kind of more of the evolving sound that I've used for this one. So if we go to the transient controls, um, you'll see this is again down at like almost minus 15, so it will trigger for all of these smallest bits. Um, the variation is up again, so we can get a bit more interesting changes from it. But because this, I still want to trigger on like more transient stuff and be the bigger sound rather than the glass smash, I've got it a bit more closer to halfway. But you'll still hear that as the sound decays, the main will take over and be more evolving and um, whereas the transient will be bigger on the hits um from the input audio um all i've done though is kind of rolled off at the front here so the attack is nowhere near as strong so it will always evolve even with the transient hits and uh, again the decay much larger so um it will play out the full sound so let's have a listen to this on its own So all of the parts have their own different features, um, but when they're played together, it makes the sum sound much larger and much bigger. So let's have another listen again to the final result. We hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. For more information, please visit crotosaudio.com. Thanks for watching.